Okay, so in this problem, we're told a 2200 Newton crate rests on the floor. How much work is required to move it at a constant speed, A, 4 meters along the floor against a drag force of 230 newtons, and B, 4 meters vertically? So we have two different cases here, one where there's a 230 newton drag force, and we're going to be pushing it 4 meters. And then in B, we have the crate on the floor, and we're going to be pushing it 4 meters in the air. And for both cases, we're going to be solving for the work. So in order to do this, you need to know the formula for work, which is work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. So we measure work in joules, so that's another thing to keep in mind. And so the way we calculate it is we put the force, so this force is the force being applied to it. D is the distance it moves. And what theta is, theta is the angle between the direction, right? So the vector of the direction it goes and the direction of the force. So um, let's say they're on top of each other like this. So let's say we push it and uh, with the force and it goes in the same direction. The angle between these two would be zero. So just keep that in mind. I'll explain a bit more in, during the problem. Uh, but yeah, so let's start with the first scenario. So the first scenario, we know we got to push it at a constant speed and it's going to have a 230 Newton uh, drag force going against it. So we know the force we're going to have to apply is 230 newtons in order to counteract this force and get it to uh, move. So we know the force we're applying is 230 newtons for 4 meters. So plugging this in, 230 times 4 times the cosine. And so now let's look at it. So we know this is the direction it's going. This is the, uh, right, the arrow. And then the, uh, or sorry, this is the force being applied. So the force is going this way. And the direction is going the same exact way, so right on top of it. And so if they're going the same way, the angle between these two vector arrows is zero. Therefore, uh, theta would be equal to zero in this case. And you should know that the cosine of zero is just one. So really, it's just 230 times 4. And so if you do that, 230 times 4, you'll get 920. And as I said before, the unit for work is joules. So for scenario A, it's going to be 920 joules. Uh, that's going to be the amount of work required to, uh, right, in order to move it. So now let's go ahead and do B. So for B, instead of moving it uh, to the side like this, we're going to be moving it upwards. So once again, we're going to do the same formula. Work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. So in order to move this box, what force are we going to have to apply? So they tell us that the weight of the box is 220 newtons. So we know we're going to have to apply a 200, or sorry, 2,200 newton force. So we're going to have to apply a 2,200 newton force upwards in order to counteract it. So we know F is equal to 2,200. Now the distance again is just four meters. And so the cosine of theta, so theta is the angle between the direction it goes and uh, the force. So the force is being applied upwards, obviously, if we got to move it upwards, and it's going up again, so they're right on top of each other, so we know it's zero. And so oftentimes you'll get cases where uh, the direction it's going is uh, opposite to the force. So in that case, not you don't really need to know it for this problem, but it's important to know, if they're going opposite, it means that the angle between them is 180. And so that's where we get negative work from if it's going the opposite direction. So that's just something to keep in mind. You don't really need to know it for this problem, but it's just important to know. So. Obviously, this is just one again, so 2200 times uh, 4 is 8800, so 8800, and then work again is measured in joules. So you have nine, uh, 920 joules and 8800 8, uh, joules. So this would be your answer for B. Uh, this right here is your answer to A. And yeah, so the main takeaway from this problem is just the formula for work and uh, understanding of the angle. So. Uh, yeah, so these are your answers, and uh, hopefully you found this useful.